Hello, it's Mike Martin here from Page Rewriter. So today I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough video of the features inside of Page Rewriter. So it gives you a brief rundown of exactly how you can use the software um, and how it can help you and your business. So the very first thing you need to know about is creating a project. So you've got two different options for creating a project. First of all, you can click on here. And let's say I was doing one for a locksmith in Manchester. I would type locksmith Manchester. And I can click next that creates the project so this is a project now and we're inside a project which is stored up here so if you have a look you've got locksmith manchester and all of your projects will be listed when you wave over this arrow if i wanted to create another project i could click that click the plus button and create a new project we'll go into the manchester project for now so probably one of the first things you're going to want to know is how to export some documentation. So we'll start off by creating an SEO report because a lot of people want to build an SEO report before they start to actually create their own document. So again, we'll stay with the theme, Locksmith Manchester. And I put in Locksmith Manchester because I want to be as specific as possible in my keyword. And then I would type in Manchester. And I'd wait for this to populate and I'd look for Manchester, England, UK or Greater Manchester, depending on what I'm doing. So I'll just go for the normal Manchester and I'll click get content. Now, what this is doing, and this is why the content created from Page Rewriter ranks so amazingly, is we're going off to the first page of Google. OK, and we're looking at every single website on the first page of Google and we're bringing back all of the content. So absolutely every single bit of content from the first page of Google is being brought back and he's now been populated in here. So what you've got here for this specific keyword, Locksmith Manchester, you've got all of the number one meta titles, okay, for page one, all of the meta descriptions from page one, all of the H1s from page one, all of the H2s from page one, and so on and so forth. Every single bit of paragraph content from every single website on the first page of Google. There's averages out about 10,000 words of content cost you a single credit <laughs> and you're getting 10,000 words of already ranking content that we know Google loves. So it's a great start. Okay. So that's the start to building our um, project. The next step is what we should usually do is create an SEO report. Now I like to come over here, copy the same keyword. So when I'm saying do an SEO report, first you want to look at the domains, have a quick scroll up. And what you're going to do is just do a little bit of research and look at these and say, which ones I like my business. Okay, so Locksmith Manchester is like a locksmith in Manchester. Manchester Locksmiths is Manchester Locksmiths.co.uk is the best rated I know is a directory. So I'll get rid of that. Lockforce is a national, but it's still a locksmith and it's still ranking in a local area. So I would likely keep that on. Lockwright again is a national, but same situation. It's totally up to you. If you don't want to go against the nationals, you can switch these off. Okay, yell.com, we're definitely not interested in ranking towards Lockfit. Looks like it's another national, so we'll do it the way that we were looking at it. Uh, check a trade. That's a directory of businesses. And keys for you locksmiths. I don't know if that's a national or not. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that on so we've got four websites. In fact, no, we'll turn that off. We know these three are definitely, the top three are definitely local businesses, okay? So we switch those off. And what that's going to do is that's going to block them from the report. It will also block them from up here. So now if you have a look, you've just got the top three meta titles because we're saying we don't want the information provided from here. Right, so now we go into the SEO report. We paste in the keyword we used previously, and we type in the keyword we've used previously, and select the same selection. You don't have to, okay? But what we want to be doing is using the content that's been pulled from these locations, compare our sites to the sites that's like us, and click Generate Report. Okay, when you generate this report, click View Report, and as you can see, SEO report for Locksmith Manchester, this report was generated. It gives you the date, tells you the keyword, it tells you the location. Um, average keyword mentions on the page is 84. So full keyword Locksmith Manchester found in website. So that means the actual keyword exactly has, as we've written it, Locksmith Manchester was found 84 times on average between these three websites. Okay. So that means there's a lot of keyword stuffing going on, um, but it's working. Then you've got average keyword locksmith equals 192 times and um, average keyword Manchester is 166 mentions, okay? Meta title, 100% of the competition, okay, had the keyword locksmith Manchester in their meta title, okay? 67%, so out of three websites, 67% had the keyword exactly as we've written it, locksmith Manchester, in their meta description, all right? So that means two out of the three had it in the meta description. Um, 
Average number of H1s equals one, so they're all following the rules and only having one H1 on the page. Average keyword mentioned equals one, okay? So they mention H1 once. Average number of H2s, there's a heck of a lot of H2s on there. 21 H2s, okay? Which tells me that having lots and lots and lots of H2s on a page is good for SEO because as we can see these are guys are having um, 21 times and these are the top three for a very difficult keyword. H3s, H4s, H5s, H6s, as you can see, we can go down the list. Tells you exactly the average word count is 6,395 words per page. So very, very content heavy. So you're going to want to write a lot of content and you're going to want to follow what Google likes, which we've just pulled all the content from uh, Page Rewriter. So that tells you that the content that's been, that, that, that's been pulled, Google already likes it. We don't care why. We just know if you use the same, retain the meaning and rewrite it, that it's going to rank because Google likes it. Uh, average number of paragraphs is 84. Heck of a lot of paragraphs on there. All right, so let me turn this microphone down just a little bit. Um, emphasize keywords so we can see that they've got strong emphasis, which is probably because they're WordPress websites. And usually if you're bold in it, it will give it the strong emphasis instead of bold. But it's almost identical thing. Um, number of domains analyzed three. Okay. Schema included one. That means only one of the three websites actually has schema. Okay, so there is a lot of debate whether schema helps and doesn't help. In my experience, it does. However, on this occasion, only one out of the three sites have. Average internal links equal 45 uh, and average outbound links equals 21. So this basically goes through all the anchor texts. Wherever there's an anchor text that's to an image, you will just see the URL. Otherwise, you will see what the anchor text actually is. Cracking reviews, areas we cover, types of locks or the actual URL to what they're going to, which is normally an image, as you can see, it says JPEG on it. Scroll further down, outbound link anchor text here has been split up from the internal. Average number of images is 49 images and average, average number with alt text, uh, alt tags is 22, okay? And this is a list of all the alt text that they're using in their images. So on average, half of the site page, um, half of the websites on the page are actually got alt tags in them, okay? So that's the SEO report. You download the SEO report and you're going to use that. Okay. The next thing you want to do is be able to create a document. So we've got a few different options for creating a document, right? So um, we can go into here and you can copy these like that and then paste them into the page. Or you can just simply click them and it'll bring them across into the page. Or before using them, you can actually edit them. So you can go in and edit these things. And if there's any you really don't want, you can trash them as well. Okay, but when we're talking about editing them, we do that. What we do is we get a lot of content that we like, okay? We trash a lot we don't like, we edit them, and then we'll use something called a template. And we'll create a, a document from a template. But let's say we've not got enough content here and we want some more, we'd go over to the related searches. We'd have a look. Um, Locksmith Manchester prices, cheap Locksmith Manchester, emergency Locksmith Manchester, 24 hours. If we click that, it'll automatically populate this. And if we get the content, it'll go off to the first page of Google and bring in additional content for our document. I like to use a single keyword and a single location and then build it from that keyword if I'm targeting that specific keyword. If I'm targeting multiple keywords on a page, then I would likely use those multiple keywords and then pull in the stuff that I like. So you can go into here, you can edit this. I can make as many edits as I want to this. And once I've finished editing, I can then keep it in there so that I can use it to build a template. So let's say we were building a document. Uh, we could literally click on, let's say this one we wanted to bring across. Let's say we wanted this added into our content builder. You might not use the meta descriptions and stuff on here. What H1 are you going to have? So I've got 24 hour locks with Manchester. Um, and the reason you see two there instead of three is basically what this means is the two sites, out of the three sites, two of them have used identical H1s, okay? It doesn't tell us which, which might be something we add into the software in the future, but it either Locksmith Manchester or 24 Hour Locksmith Manchester has been used, um, and I'm assuming it's the Locksmith Manchester, by two of the websites in their H1. Okay, then you choose what you want as your H2, or if you're building out the document, you select your H1, you come down here and you select which paragraphs you want to add into the content, um and so on and so forth okay now basically this enables us to do that we can edit the content we can go through and make changes if we wanted to spin this to content okay we then very simply come down here click spin select our settings of how we want to spin it okay so you go through read all this figure out exactly how you want to spin it then click spin what that will do 
is that will create a spun version of the document here and you can put that straight into any website that ex accepts spun content you can click create unique and that'll rewrite it you can click back and the back button will enable you to then create a different unique version and obviously it'll just keep spinning differently each time you do that okay so creating a document it's quite simple quite easy we're pulling the content across we're, re we're, we're editing the content we're making it fit we're getting stuff like thanks fran out of there we'd get out any business 0161 we don't want that in there um and we'd go through and we'd remove any information regarding specific businesses before we move on to the ai rewriter a little bit further on okay so we've done all this so what we're going to do now is i'm going to close up some of this stuff so we can see what we're doing again so let's say okay we're doing this but let's say we've gone through the h1 so let's say you've been in edited these three h1s if you click that button there it will add them all and this button here is a new feature that we're adding soon where you can add additional ones yourself. Um, so if you wanted to um, now build from a template, so let's say you've gone into here, you've edited this and made it so that it's not got the number one in it, it's not got the 50 pound in it, it's not got this whatever stuff you don't want. On this one, you get rid of the phone number. Uh, this one, you would get rid of the, I don't know, 39 pound, maybe. Maybe you'd keep it, right? Then what you do is you go through and edit all the contents which fit your needs. Right. Once you've done that, okay, you can create what you called a content template. So let's say this was our SEO content template. So we come over to this page and let's say we wanted our SEO content template to have a H1, two paragraphs, H2, two paragraphs, H3, two paragraphs. Um, did I press H3 then I H2? H3, sorry, I pressed H2 twice. Uh, two paragraphs, and let's say that's it. So let's say our content template is one H1, two H2s, and one H3. Okay, we save that. Okay, then we come back into here and we click auto build from template. Click the SEO, click select, and what this is going to do, this is going to go over here, and it's going to pull a random H1, two random paragraphs, random H2, two random paragraphs. Uh, I'm a little bit lost as to where the rest are on the training, guys. <laughs> Maybe I should have done spaces in them, but you get the idea. What you can also do inside of them templates, if you're going to be using it that way, is auto build from template. Click on that. Let's click edit. Let's click next. And you could just simply give these a H1 value, H2 value, H2 value. If you want to do this for ease of finding where it is, or you can just leave spaces, as I said. So you could just leave a couple of spaces like that between each one, and then you'd know what is what. Um, but now if we click auto build from template, it's going to completely build a brand spanking new document, which is completely different as you can see, but this time it leaves the spaces. So if I'd have left the spaces, you'd have seen the difference. I don't do this when I'm creating it. I'd probably leave the spaces. And the reason being is the AI rewriter, when it does work, it, when we do use it later, it's going to pull out the, any formatting. Um, and unfortunately we can't keep the formatting in with the rewriter because of the way it actually works and it reads everything. Okay. So next thing, we've done the spin content, create a document from a template. We've gone through that, guys. Uh, let's have a look at the FAQ builder. So we've got an FAQ builder here, which enables you to build from questions. So how much is a locksmith, let's say? Now, this is great content to add into your, um, in, into your web page because a lot of people search with questions. How much is a locksmith? How much is it to... Put up a fence on a per meter basis um how much does this get my living room decorated and such things like that so we'll go into here and we'll say get questions so what this will do and it won't go to all the pages of google and the reason we don't enable it to go to all the pages of google just the first is very simple really the questions on the second page and third page are on the second and third page for a reason okay so we pull the ones from the first page and if you do multiple questions you got you've got related searches how much is a locksmith near me so we click that and that um will also now you've got the option to append or replace so we'd click append so we're getting multiple of these and as you can see now we've got lots of questions and answers content and this is something we can drag across okay and once it's been dragged across, we can say, okay, we're happy with these. We've made the edits. We, 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 we like what they look like. You view the text, you can copy and paste that text for your website content, or you can copy and paste that text into the rewriter and then rewrite it. In addition to that, you're then in a position where you can also copy the schema. 
and pull the schema across into your web page. Schema is very important for this type of thing because obviously we want to get the uh, want to get it viewed in Google, and you're not going to get the rich snippet inside of Google if you haven't got the schema on the page. And as you can see, a lot of these will say fifty to one hundred dollars, forty to three hundred dollars. Uh, if you scroll down, ninety nine point nine to one hundred sixty dollars. Um, they don't give an exact price, change price range from 50 to hundred dollars. Nearly all the ones you'll find ranking on the first page, give a price range, don't give a specific price. Little tip there for you. Also, if there's a question missing and you think, ah, I really wish we had this question, you click that button and then you click question is, um, how come Mike's locksmiths are the best? Um, better than the rest type of thing okay does that make sense well, i'm asking you questions like you're on the tra training video <laughs> so you view the schema now in some types in schema you're going to want an author so if you're going to want an author on your schema the other option you've got over here come across to your schema and let's say mike martin was the author then i click view schema and as you can see it's added type person name mike martin that means you've got an author of each one of the questions that's brought in, in there uh, generally, you wouldn't really need this, but it's completely up to you guys. If you've pulled them in from Google, you might want to put Google's the author. Um, or you might just not want to put anything, okay? Um, which means delete that, and it will get rid of the details of, of, the, of the actual person that ran it, okay? So that's another little option you've got there. So we can save that. Again, similarly, um, similar to... What we were doing previously, you have an edit button here, you have a copy button, you have a delete button. So if one comes up that you want to change, but you like it, you want to make edits, you can just click that edit button and go in and edit it and then save it. Um, on, and in addition to that, if you don't like it, you just click delete and it'll disappear. And finally, okay, so let's go and get some, in fact, let me, auto build from content, let me get rid of this um, formatting. So I'm just going to go A, delete the lot. I'm going to go H1. Let's just do one space, paragraph, paragraph, H2, paragraph, paragraph, do another H2, paragraph, paragraph, space, H3, paragraph, paragraph. Okay, so we've done it like this, we've kept it how it is, and then we're going to click save. Then we'll click auto build. Then we're going to click go. So let's say you've gone through, you've edited your content, you made it lovely. You've got rid of all the business names and things that you've got to get rid of. So this here now is content which has been dragged in from the first page of Google from websites that are already ranking. So the content that's on there, Google absolutely loves it. Okay, we know Google loves it. So the next thing to do is just to rewrite it. So what our rewriter does, which is absolutely amazing, is it rewrites this content and retains the meaning for you meaning you don't need to know how to write for seo because there's people that's already done it all we need to do is borrow their content rewrite it and retain the meaning and we've actually got already written amazing content so you've got an option here you can rewrite it less more or most it will nearly always pass copyscape if you do most so i always do most because we don't want to be getting plagiarism for for actually using somebody else's content. So I always use most, and you've got an option of rewriting your documents up to four times, okay? Now, the reason it's four, people have said, can't you do 10, can't you do seven, can't you do 11, and then and other higher numbers, is the quality of the rewrites is not completely amazing after we hit number four. So we do four, and we know that the rewrite quality is always gonna be top notch. If we can get the actual software um, to do it better, then we will, but it's at the minute that's where it's up to. Okay, so you've got rewrite less, rewrite more, rewrite most. You can rewrite up to four times and you click the rewrite button over here. Very simple, okay? What it's doing now is it's read the document and it gets it, brings it over and it's gonna actually retain the meaning of all the paragraphs and it's gonna rewrite all the content for you so that it means the same. Means the same as the content that's already ranking on the first page of Google for that keyword at the top. So this can sometimes take um, anything from, from 10 to, to 60 seconds. And the reason for that is obviously it's got to go through every single line of content and we have asked it to do it four times. Uh, so it could take a little bit of time. So as you can see, 24 hour locksmith Manchester, Manchester locksmith 24 hours. Okay. Uh, you will then also want to change your codes for any line. This is pulled in a random paragraph so it doesn't start as we would start our document. 
Uh, also, you will need to modify the code for the CCTV and alarm system. So as you can see, it's completely rewritten it. So it means exactly the same, but it's completely rewritten. So it will pass Copyscape. Then you've got a second version. Then you've got a third version. Then you've got a fourth version. Now, if you've got something that accepts spin text, you can click this bit here. And what it'll do is it'll spin all four together for you. So you've got the first paragraph, first paragraph, first paragraph, first paragraph from all four. Uh, the first sentence from all four and so on and so forth. So it means it will rewrite the document up to four times. And every single version that gets read out, that, that gets um, spun from this onto your um, document on your website will always read absolutely perfectly because every single version has been spun and all the sentences have been kept in exactly the same place. So we don't spin it at word level, we spin it at sentence level because what this does is it goes in, it rewrites all the sentences, and then this will put each sentence in position one, two, three, or four, and then when you spin it, it will just randomly select one. So it's absolutely awesome for that. You can click this copy here to copy everything. You can click this edit, uh, set highlight changes button to highlight the changes. It won't work on there, it'll only work on here. I think I've already clicked it. And then in addition to that, you can also export. So if you click export, export, one, two, three, four, click export. And what that's going to do is going to pull it down into a HTML document for you. When you open that, it's going to look like this. Okay. That's a HTML document because then it just works for absolutely everybody. In addition to that, that one just gives a bit of a bug because we tried to do it on there. You click that highlight. And sorry, guys, on the training, the highlight's not working. I'll keep that in the training so you know that we are going to fix it. <laughs> okay, then. So we've been through absolutely everything. We've gone through... Um, Creating a project, okay, which first step. We've gone building on your, on your SEO report. We've gone through creating a document and related searches. We've gone through spun content and we've gone creating new, okay, so you can create new and you can go back and forward. We've gone through creating a document from a template. We've gone through the FAQ builder, which includes your schema, which includes your view text, which includes add questions uh, manually, uh, offer for the schema and the related searches. We've also gone through the AI rewriter where you can write it with less, more, or most. Uh, you can rewrite one, two, three, or four times. <clears throat> you can spin multiple of those together. Uh, you can copy it. You can highlight the change, which unfortunately didn't work properly today, and which we'll all have fixed. And you can also download. Okay, guys. Hope you helped. Hope the training helped. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.